It's been a long time now, you know. As, as everybody knows, we here in Laredo researched uh, the system for 22 years. And then after this, we tested it out to see whether people liked it. And between 1966 and 1969, people wanted some more of this, that they wanted to come, come frequently, more frequently, and uh, teach you more of what you have and so on. And this is how we started to grow. And uh, I don't know whether we have enough time to cover the explanation of the chart in this segment, but I'm going to try to see how far we can go. And then from here, we might later pick it up and complete the explanation. Because it's quite involved. This is part of what is helping us to be able to explain what's going on within our minds. And this is the chart that we devised. And part of it is for the mind, the spirit world, the invisible world. Sometimes it's called the other side. And uh, this other side is for the body, physics, the brain, brain frequencies. And the names given to these different dimensions. So you can see here now that we have the chart devised and copyrighted by us. Our, we ourselves put it together. And we, for the first time, came on the scene with new terminology. Before, of course, the section in blue was called the conscious. The section in green and red, the subconscious. And the section in black was called the unconscious. Many books have been written about these uh, ideas about the conscious, subconscious, and unconscious. Ever since we have been on the scene, we have changed the subconscious to outer conscious and inner conscious. Well, now, the blue for us is the outer conscious, and the green and red is the inner conscious for us. We are the first ones to start using the concept of inner consciousness. There was no such a thing before we came on the scene. So then, this is a chart that explains uh, the brain frequencies. Remember that the brain is measuring frequencies or vibrations because your brain vibrates so many times per second like your heart beats so many times per minute. So then, when we are conceived, it is said, we come from the other side. And incidentally, you're going to hear a lot about the other side. The other side means uh, what theologians call the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven and the Holy Spirit dimension and all this sort of thing. Meaning, the concepts of God, meaning intelligence of the universe, meaning the invisible world. There is more in the invisible world that there is in the visible world. So we come from the invisible world, okay? So talking about the chart, and when we come from the invisible world, meaning beyond the black band, as shown in the chart here, we enter from this dimension into the world of physics, meaning the first frequency vibration detected in the fetus after conception is that frequency indicated in the black band. Scientists call it the delta. Also keep in mind that these Greek terms are the letters of the alphabet in Greek, and uh, actually uh, they're not in the order of the way it should be, it's in the order of discoveries. Of course the alpha, uh, way back in the early 20s for instance, uh, the equipment to measure brain waves was very inefficient, not so sophisticated, not so sensitive, so naturally it detected the strongest brain frequency, and the strongest brain frequency was the label the alpha the first one detected with this instrumentation. So the letters of the Greek alphabet are placed in order of discoveries, not in the proper order of brain development. So we start, the brain starts developing with no more than the what is found in the vibration within the delta frequency, this black band here. Well, we enter the black band, the door, from the spirit other side, so to speak, into the, this side, the physical world, to the delta door. The first frequency detected in the fetus, even when the fetus in the, is in the mother's womb, is the delta band, the scientists call it. Well, here we have the delta and the theta. Delta and theta is one complete dimension. The delta and theta is a complete kingdom. Because any sub, seven subdivisions is a complete kingdom. You take the seven subdivisions of music, seven notes, it's called the octave, the kingdom of music. Now, also, the seven colors of the rainbow is called the kingdom of white light. Well, here, seven subdivisions is a complete kingdom or a dimension. So it's one octave. One anabolic cycle is called in the life cycles, so to speak. We can also speak about the life cycles. We grow in life cycles of seven years per life cycle. So the first life cycle is called the anabolic cycle because we grow 
we gain, every time we gain in a cycle, it's called anabolic. Every time we lose in a cycle, it's called catabolic. So we go through so many anabolic cycles in the human development of the brain. So later, within this that one kingdom, one dimension, the mind functions only inductively, meaning the child has no ability to analyze. He knows things happen, he doesn't know why. He has no means to try to figure out why things happen and what the reason for it. So the analytical process is the critical consciousness are not there yet. Child has developed a set of teeth and has grown and has learned to walk and to move about and to start to speak using his biological senses. Of course, the brain functions to go in the complete spectrum, but the child is spending more time. The brain frequency is more in this area than in the other area. Of course, he uses the whole spectrum. Keep that in mind. Now, the overall average of a brain frequency of a child is always lower than the overall average brain frequency of mature adults because of the age. As we grow, we increase brain frequency also. In the second anabolic cycle, within the red band and the green band, this is called the second anabolic cycle in life, another seven years. Here between seven and 14, we develop another set of teeth that is supposed to last us a lifetime. Then we, the voice of the male changes into a mature adult voice. The female goes into her monthly rhythm and so on. Responsibility comes on the scene. Here comes the, uh, the ability of mind, the critical consciousness, the analytical processes comes on the scene, meaning the deductive faculty of mind comes on the scene. This is human intelligence. The deductive faculty of mind, the analytical processes, is human intelligence. This is human intelligence in the region. The alpha is the highest human intelligence level. Well, we analyze problems. We start to analyze problems. This is the center of that dimension. Well, here it's very important to note that one thing has been discovered, that here this dimension is the door to the use of the right brain hemisphere. Because the right brain hemisphere is the hemisphere used by the soul. When we talk about coming in from the other side, the spiritual dimension, we're talking about the soul coming in on the physical world. And the soul manifests itself to the brain. When the brain is damaged, any part of the brain damaged, the soul cannot manifest itself to that damaged part of the brain. If the damaged part of the brain has to do with the speech, when the person cannot speak, and with hearing, the person cannot hear, and so on. So the brain is the translator, the, what transfers the information, intelligence, to be able to control. You see, we're like uh, mannequins. We're like the, the, these uh, puppy things, you know, the, the puppets uh, the show and so on. Like the soul is moving his body like the body is a puppet, you see. The soul has to have strings and connections through the brain to different parts of the body to cause it to move. If those connections are broken, the puppet's arms will not move, or the legs, or the hearing mechanism, and so forth. So this is a little complicated, so I think I need to take more time to explain what happens beyond this. So for now, let's say that we have covered the delta part, the theta, and the alpha part, which means the black, the red, and the green band, to talk about the anabolic cycles. So for now, we start right there at the door, which means the door to the right brain hemisphere, the center of human intelligence, the alpha region of the brain.